Closed captions have been a thing for a while now. Everybody's using it on Twitch, YouTube, stuff like that. You can get it basically anywhere. Why should you use it on Twitch? Well, find out in this video. If you don't already know, my name is Age and I'm a full-time Twitch partner and I stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. Now let's go and show you how you can actually set up your closed captions on stream. Closed captions are great for people that cannot hear you well or are struggling with, uh, you know, if you talk fast like me or something like that, it's great to have some something uh, below the screen that can actually help people out that are having some problems. So how you can actually set that up is really simple. It's the same thing as we did for our overlays on uh, console streamers for console streamers. So if you haven't seen that video, it's the one before this one. Make sure to check it out also in this pin right here. Uh, so first thing you will have to do is go to the Twitch dashboard. Once you go to the Twitch dashboard, you will have to go to your profile picture dashboard. And then uh, to the left, you'll see extensions. Click on extensions and then search all extensions. Basically, we'll have a lot of this stuff. What you will have to search is closed uh, and then click on closed captions for streams. This is the one that you will need to use, this white one. Uh, you can see right here, it's the version 1.0.1. It's the current version. Uh, add closed captions to stream for your viewers to see. Streamers can choose between. There's a lot of different stuff you can do. We're going to go uh, through all of that in a second. So first you'll have to do is install it. Click install, then click configure, then go to uh, click on this link right here. So once that link opens up, you will have to install the extension, which you have done, enable the extension, which we will do in a second. And then you have three different things you can set up. So you have a panel, which basically, if you don't know what panels are, they are uh, the tabs below your stream. You can have your donate button, your sponsors, your about me, your FAQs, whatever it's below. You can basically have it in the panel uh, as a live tab, I guess, where then your text shows up as you speak. It's pretty cool. It's out of the way. So a lot of people like it like that because it doesn't cover the screen and then people, you know, can opt, uh, basically pop it out and then move it wherever they want as they like it. There's a second thing called component, which basically uh, shows a window on top of your screen, which people can also move around, put it wherever they want, but they cannot uh, resize and they cannot do anything with it, basically. Uh, overlay is pretty cool because it's on top of your screen so it you know it shows like an actual movie subtitle or closed caption it's pretty nice pretty it's something similar to the YouTube closed captioning so I kind of like that the most uh, log into the website right here so you'll have to go to this website you have to log in set up the language so first thing let's click on this link right here uh, log in it will ask you for your email address click authorize so once this website opens you will see uh, in languages, you can choose uh, what dialect you have, uh, you know, what language you're speaking, stuff like that. I have English, United States. If you click start, it's going to start. It's going to ask for your microphone. Of course, you're going to allow it because it's going to listen to you. So now that you speak, if I say now I am speaking, it will basically listen to me and do it in real time right here. As you see, pretty cool stuff. So now that we've done that, uh, some people might have some issues with the microphone is that it also says right here in the FAQ common problems page uh, If you see in the top right basically this video icon if you click on it uh, Maybe you have the wrong microphone set if you have multiple microphones if it's not defaulted to your main microphone You can actually change it right here to whatever microphone you want and then click done and then it's gonna use your actual Microphone then what you will have to do is basically just go to the to the main website click start and as, you're, as you click start, it will basically go to your uh, overlay and then set it up right there. So we have to go back to extensions now where we actually came from, uh, where we installed the extension. We click activate and then we choose what we want to set up. If we want it to be a panel, an overlay or component, you choose uh, whatever you feel the most comfortable. We can test it out with multiple uh, ones and then see what works for you. Uh, I'm going to use a, an overlay because I like it the most. Click overlay. Uh, click done and then you will have an overlay on top of your uh on top of your screen with everything being said so if we click start again and now that we speak it should be going to server output and it is showing on a server output as you can see right here so that means it is working whatever it takes a speech result what this top part to the left 
uh, is what we're speaking and server output is what server aka Twitch is seeing. So if it all works and it's all good, that means it's all set up. Let me know if you found this video interesting and if you liked it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, link down in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.